Hi everybody. So let's talk about tape diagrams. Tape diagrams are a really useful tool when you're working with ratios. You can answer all kinds of strange questions if you use a tape diagram. So the best way to learn about it is to just do one. So let's, let's use one to solve a problem. In this question, we're told that the number of boys, the number of boys is three-fifths the number of girls. Okay, so right away we should know that the number of boys is going to be less than the number of girls, right? It's three-fifths of the number, but we can also think of this as a ratio, right? So boys comes first, it'll be the top number. We know that for every three boys, there will be five girls, right? That's what that ratio tells us. Three-fifths the number of girls, three boys to five girls. And now let's look at our tape diagram. We see that there's one, sorry, boys are blue here. It looks like there's one, two, three sections of tape for boys to every one, two, three, four, five sections of tape for girls. Okay, so that's how the tape diagram works. The tape diagram is drawn to represent the ratio, three to five. Now, they go on to tell us that there's actually 120 children, 120 children all together. How many boys are there? So this bracket here shows us 120 children, boys and girls. And we want to know how many boys there are, just these three sections. So what we need to do is take this total and divide it into all of the sections, the total of the sections. So there's eight of them all together. We see that here there's a note that says eight units is 120. So what I'm going to do is take that 120 and divide it into eight sections, right? So we get one, there's a remainder of 40. Uh, five times eight is 40, and there's no remainder. So that means that there's eight groups of 15 kids. 15, 15, 15 in each section. And there's eight sections of tape. So this should equal 120, okay? And we can just double check, right? 15 times eight, 120. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we can answer the question, how many boys are there? Well, there's 15, 15, and 15. 15 times three is 45. So three of the sections equals 45. We can also answer other questions too, like for example, how many more girls are there at the school? And it turns out there's two more sections, that's 30 more girls, 30 more girls. Okay, let's take a look at another example. This problem says the number of male teachers is two thirds the number of female teachers. So again, be aware of the first term that comes up in the sentence, male teachers, is going to be the first term of our numerator, I mean of our ratio. And the second term that comes up, the number of female teachers, is going to be the second term. So let's read this again. The number of male teachers is two-thirds the number of female teachers, or they're in a ratio of two to three. That means for every two male teachers, there are going to be, sorry, there should be blue, for every two male teachers, there are going to be three female teachers. That's the ratio, all right? Now, they go on to tell us that there are 75 teachers all together. And this bracket shows that's 75 teachers. So what I want to do is take that 75 total, remember that's a total, and I want to break it into these five sections, two male, three female. So 75 divided by five is going to be, do, do, do. Whoa, this problem, it's also 15. Five goes into 25, five times. So five groups of 15, here we go. 15 are male, 15 are male. And down here, these sections, each section is 15. 
we could tell that 5 times 15 is 75. Now, it should be easy to tell how many more female teachers there are. At this point, right, that's an equal amount of males and females, but there's this extra section of tape right here. That's 15 female teachers. So the answer would be 15. Thank you, tape diagram.